Hi, I'm Kristen Woodruff, and I've most recently started an Etsy shop called Seabell Art Studio. I currently have listed some pho photographs that I've taken, and I'm selling them as prints. I've had a few sales, but have been looking for ways to kind of spice up and add some variety to my shop. I found a really inspiring shop called K&J Creative Art, and they do photography transfers onto wood. I was really intrigued by this kind of rustic look and thought that would be a cool way to add some spice to my shop, but also be a great gift for friends and family. Win-win. On my blog, I've listed the two main resources I've used, What's Up Mom YouTube channel and also Photo Jojo blog. These websites uh, came in handy. I love the visual of the YouTube video. And I love the humor and step-by-step -step directions in the Photo Jojo blog post. Uh, after looking over these resources very carefully, I felt very prepared to take on and try my very own photography transfer onto wood. To get started on your photography wood transfer, you first need to decide what photo you want to use. I think that's the toughest part is choosing. Once you decide, you can use any photo editing program to reverse the image. You want it to be flipped, a mirror image for the transfer. You need to use a laser printer. If you don't have one, Staples or Kinko's has uh, printers that you can use for less than a dollar. Uh, other materials you'll need is a piece of wood, Licotex gloss, heavy gel medium, matte Mod Podge finish, ruler or roller, sandpaper, scissors, a brush, and a rag. Once you have all your materials, you're ready to begin. To get started, you'll first want to make sure that your photograph lines up with the piece of wood that you're using. Typically, they come in square or rectangle shapes, but you might want to get creative and try an oval shape like I'm trying today. If your wood hasn't already been sanded, you'll want to sand it. It actually helps the photograph adhere a little bit better to the wood. Then you're going to apply a thin layer of the heavy gloss gel medium to the wood. Really make sure it's even, um, not too thick. You're going to press down your photo face down, uh, kind of working out from the center, smoothing all of the paper down, no air bubbles. You really want it to be a nice tight seal. You're going to let it sit for at least eight hours uh, or overnight. You're now ready to remove the paper. Grab a soft rag, run it under the water. You don't want it to be dripping or soaking, so make sure you squeeze it out. Lay it across the photograph for a few minutes to allow the water to absorb into the paper. Then you're really going to be careful as you start to rub in a circular motion to get the excess paper off. Make sure you kind of brush it off as you go because if you continue to rub the paper into the photograph, it can actually scrape away. So the first time I did this, that's what actually happened. Um, depending if you want a rustic look or not, you may want it to be like that. But for me, I wanted it to be a really clean and crisp look. Uh, so I had to try it again. Learn from your mistakes, right? Learning from failure take two. I decided to wait until the morning after before removing the paper. I let the wet rag sit on for a few minutes to absorb into the paper. I very gently started to take off the initial layer using my rag. I noticed that some of the photograph was starting to get scraps, so I started to use my fingers kind of in a circular motion, uh, which really I felt like I had a lot more control. I let it dry to see what paper fibers I still needed to get off and continued the process of using the wet rag and my fingers to get all of the paper fibers off until my photograph started to look very clear, as you can see. Then you're ready to apply a very thin layer of Mod Podge. It gives it a nice glossy finish, depending on if you get gloss or matte. just kind of gives a little sheen. Don't freak out if the Mod Podge looks white because it dries clear. Now you're ready to display it in your home. So glad my second one turned out. Wish you luck. 